Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, it's me, MLG, and welcome for another episode of Science Selling Session. And for today's vlog, we'll be talking about, as promised guys, uh, in my last vlog, I, I told you all of you that I am going to discuss electromagnetic spectrum. And in this discussion, I am going to um, discuss in a different way around. So, at the last part, don't miss it because at the last part of this vlog, I'll be singing the electromagnetic spectrum song. So, so, Okay, so we will now learn together what is an electromagnetic wave. Okay, so before I'll go into details, let me have a short um, recall or a brief background about electromagnetic wave. According to history, we don't have idea what light really was until such time that there are, there are scientists who work on it. And during 17th century, I, it was Isaac Newton and Christian Huygens work about light but the most sophisticated description of light which we call classical electromagnetism was developed by james clark maxwell in 19th century okay so that was the history or brief history about light and in relation to the topic electromagnetic waves okay all right so what is an electromagnetic wave um based on my readings and research um, electromagnetic waves is an oscillating electric and magnetic fields that travel at the speed of light. So we know that light um, travels in a transverse, in a straight line, right? Since we're talking about electromagnetic waves, so let us know what are the components of an electromagnetic wave. First, we have amplitude, wavelength, and of course, frequency. Let me define this term first. Wavelength is a distance between two light points in the wave. Amplitude is the height of the wave compared to undisturbed state. We have frequency, the number of waves passing in a given amount of time, and of course we have period, the amount of time required for one wavelength to pass. Okay, so those are the wave terminologies um, that can be used in defining or describing an electromagnetic wave. So we have wavelength, amplitude, frequency, and of course the period. The term light, radiation, and electromagnetic wave can be used to explain one concept, and that is electromagnetic spectrum. What is this electromagnetic spectrum? The visible spectrum is a tiny portion of a much larger spectrum of radiation called the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation is transmission of energy from the longest radio waves to the shortest gamma waves. And maybe you're asking, what is this for? What are the applications of electromagnetic waves? That question in mind, then that's great because in this vlog, we'll be talking about electromagnetic waves and its technological application. Before we go to the technological application of each wave, allow me to share this idea. In our vlog about sound, we do have sound waves. And in our light, we mentioned about light waves. And then, both of this concept, the light and the sound, both has frequency. So, you notice that both waves has frequency. What is the function? Or, what is the work of frequency in these waves? For sound wave, the frequency determines pitch. It could be high or low. But in the light waves, but in the electromagnetic waves, the frequency corresponds to the kind of light. By observing the electromagnetic waves here, frequencies less than visible light are infrared, microwave, and radio. But frequencies greater than visible light are ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma ray. Okay, so the challenge now is to know its technological application. So you, so that is why at the end of this vlog, I am hoping that you, ikaw na yung audience sa vlog na ito, learned what are these electromagnetic waves and its technological application. So here are the types of electromagnetic waves of radiation. Number one, the radio waves. The radio waves is the longest wavelength and lowest energy and frequency and can be used to help us see the inside of our bodies to diagnose illness. Example, the MRI or Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Number two, okay, next we have microwaves. 
Microwaves have the shortest wavelength and the highest frequency of all radio waves. Example, microwave ovens, telecommunication, satellites, radio telescopes, radar, or remote sensing. Okay, microwave oven use a specific frequency that is strongly absorbed by water molecules in food. Next, we have infrared waves. Infrared waves have longer wavelength, lower energy, and frequency. Infrared means below red, also called heat radiation. Example, remote controls, computer, heat lamps, motion sensors. Next, we have visible light spectrum or visible light. Well, visible light can be continually detected by your eyes. Right? So, as you can see here, the, the, um, we have this the visible light spectrum. The visible light, uh, the visible spectrum is a tiny portion of a much larger spectrum of radiation called the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation is transmission of energy from the longest wave, radio waves, to the shortest gamma waves. Well, um, if you observe the picture, as the frequency increases, wavelength decreases. So in other way around, as the frequency decreases, wavelength increases. That's it. So, starting from here, we have radio waves and then ended up to the shortest wave that is gamma rays. Okay, the next one is ultraviolet waves. So, these waves are shorter than visible light, shorter wavelength, but higher energy and frequency. Okay, next we have X-rays. X-rays have shorter wavelength, higher energy, and frequency than ultraviolet used to photograph teeth, bones, and the inside of machines, security screening. And of course, we have gamma rays. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelength, the highest energy and frequency in the electromagnetic spectrum. It results, it results from nuclear reactions and produced by the hottest regions of the universe. Well, take note of this, gamma rays can be used to kill cancer cells. Well, just to give you another way of learning these things, I'll be singing this song for you to grasp and for you to really remember, recall what we discussed about electromagnetic spectrum. So I'll be singing electromagnetic spectrum song. I hope that you like this. Let me tell you what they are Radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation Visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, gun rays From TV station to the living room That is the work of radio waves Heating food and just cyclones Microwave do that Heat treatment for realness Take pictures in the dark And even your remote control Infrared radiation Electromagnetic spectrum Needs just a day Of a range of radiation Let me tell you what they are Radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible lights, the violet x rays, gamma rays, red, orange, and green, and blue, indigo, violet. That's the only part of the spectrum that can be seen by us. The suntan on your skin is bacteria and viruses Used to detect forgery that is ultraviolet Electromagnetic spectrum needs just a name Over range of radiation put 
tell you what they are Radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, gum rays. See your broken bones, head and bones. That is the work of X-rays. Kill cancer cells, sterilize dangerous gamma rays. Now that we have all completed the electromagnetic spectrum If you still don't understand Then play the song again The electromagnetic spectrum is just a name Of a range and radiation Let me tell you what they are Radio waves Microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays, radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays. Well, I hope that you like the song for my students. Please do the challenge. See an electromagnetic spectrum and then send it to me. Alright? I hope that you enjoyed the song.